give me an example of a time when you were personally, um, all of us as preachers have moments when it's very difficult for us to preach, either it's personal circumstances or church circumstances. We may be preaching, you know, through a storm, as uh, mm -hmm. H. Beecher Hicks says. So give, give the audience a time when uh, your most, I would call it under those circumstances, the most difficult time that you had to preach when something uh, was personally either painful or I don't know. Something. Yeah, 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 preaching through the storm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was probably on two occasions. One occasion was um, back in the 90s when I had taken a stand on public education and its negative effect on black kids. And um, many who were in a different camp, I mean, it was, it was a big deal. Many who were of a different philosophy and mindset to me came after me, I mean, they came after me. And because they came after me, they would come back to my congregations and my congregation, my members had to hear about your pastors this and your pastor that. And so I had to preach through that because I was going against many of the gatekeepers and um, establishment people. And um, that was challenging. Um, I guess the second time was when someone had filed a frivolous lawsuit. And I had to preach through that. And that was more of a personal the congregation. It did not affect the congregation. It was a lawsuit against me that was frivolous and it was dismissed. And then another time was something that affected the congregation, namely the music department, mm -hmm. in which uh, I had um, to um, transition the music department in a way that would result in some very prominent personalities within the department no longer being part of the department. And um, there was a church that had grown within the church. Mm -hmm. And um, there were people who were bitter because um, this, 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 this department, this auxiliary within the church had become the church for them. Uh, and the, kind of the church was an auxiliary of, the, of this. So, uh, you know, they came after me. Fortunately, they didn't, at least I don't know, because I, I don't think they did, but uh, they didn't use social media like they do now um, to, to, to attack me. But in any way that you can be attacked, I was attacked. Uh, and it was a time of transition for our congregation. Mm -hmm. And so that was challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, the new challenge that I'm having now is the challenge that while our church is strong, um, many of my members are watching online. Mm -hmm. So, the whole online revolution has resulted in people not actually being present like they once were. Now, it's, it's filled. We have six weekend services. Uh, we have three campuses um, in two states, in Indiana, Jeffersonville, which is right across from Louisville, and in the Fort Knox area of Kentucky. So we have three campuses, but the, but the services that are streaming are not as packed. We used to have chairs in the aisles and chairs in front of me, and then we don't have those chairs. There are people that have packed up the pews. So I've had to adjust to not seeing it overflowing with people. And making that adjustment, it's not a crisis or a storm, it's just a matter of making the adjustment and, and assuring the congregation 
that there's nothing wrong except those people are watching online. They're still sending their money online. The offering is not dipped, um, but you don't see that 